Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this graphic, and you can tell it's a bitmap by the bounding box. And want to know how the, how easy it would be to draw this in CorelDraw. There's probably, I could probably do 10 different ways, but I'm going to think that it may be the easiest. I'm going to hold down the control button and make an ellipse, and I'm going to hit P. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And while holding down the, the shift key, I'm going to grow it from the inside. Now, there are three segments to this arrow, and they're really almost touching if they're not touching. So we're going to take a two-point line and hit P. I want something divided by three segments, which would be 120. So I'm going to take that line that's in the center of the page, and I don't have to double click on the rotation because it's in the center. And I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees. Then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. And then I'm going to mirror it that way. There's my section. It looks like it's bigger than it probably should be. I'm going to take my smart fill tool. I'm going to fill that in and I'm going to nudge it out of the way. Then I can take all this and nudge it out of the way and nudge this right back. At this time, I'm going to go and bring in my indexing lines that I always have in the center of the page. And I am going to left click, right click. All we need to do is put an arrow tip on this end or either end, I guess. So we're going to take the polygon tool, set on three sided, hold down the control button so it's a perfect triangle. And then put it into our... You know, the one thing about a triangle, it will not uh, snap to the center because it's not a basically a centerable item. But if we put, well, what we can do here, let's take our shape tool and add a node right here by right-clicking and add a node. This way we know that that's in the center. Well, it's going to be a little hard. Well, you can I can actually still see it. And I'm going to, whoop, you need to get the four point cross and move it to the node and then double click on this X right here and put that, your rotation on that center and then just rotate this guy around. And there's probably some mathematical equation, but I think I'm just going to get it close. And if I think of a way to do it, a little better. I'm, I'm going to call that good. And then all I have to do is take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines and take my smart fill tool and there's my shape. Now I'm going to nudge it out of the way so I can get rid of my lines because I don't want my lines. And then just take that, control D and make a duplicate, move your center rotation to the center of the page. If you don't hit that X, it won't go there. Now we're going to rotate this guy 120 degrees and then control D and rotate it 240. Sometimes Corel will take over, but sometimes you have to do that. <clears throat> and there it is. I think I'm pretty close. Now, if you want it, I'm a lot bigger. If you wanted it that color, uh, that's not a standard Corel color, so we could take the eyedropper tool and take a sample of that color and put it into our new idea. Take away the indexing lines. We can group this together, control G, and bring this down closer. So I'm a little bit, well, I'm pretty close. I was going to say I'm a little bit thinner on my line, but I don't think, but look at the difference in the quality between fuzzy and vector. And there's a lot, there's, I can think of right now, two other ways you could do this, but this will work. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.